Hey guys, I just wanted to show you how I made this card. Um, it's embossed on the front, obviously. I'm gonna show you how I did that. Um, and ta-da, that's what's on the inside. So pretty easy. These are some Velcro um, things. I will have a link to that on my website. Um, and I'm gonna show you how I did um, this gate fold type card. And I'm gonna show you how I did this on the front of it. I'm trying, I'm moving it around because it's if I just hold it like that, you can't really see it. But it is embossed with gold embossing powder. So pretty easy card, it'll be quick. So let's get started. Okay, first what I wanna do is I wanna show you everything that's on here because most of the die cuts and stuff are for the trimming the tree. It's the perfect partners and that's only available until the end of this month, September, September 30th, or if it sells out, it's gone. So, <clears throat> and I wanted to show you all the shiny things I used. Obviously this, is, this was embossed. I don't know if you can tell, this is the pearlescent paper. That's the pearlescent paper. That's in the main catalog. <clears throat> um, and then that for the ribbon, I mean for, I'm sorry, for the stars and what I showed you inside, those very glittery trees, stars and everything. Um, that is, um, it's a glimmer specialty paper. This is it right here. It comes in, it's, uh, let's see. Evening Evergreen, very vanilla and gold. It's in the mini catalog right here on page 31. And I use obviously the Evening Evergreen for the trees and then the gold for their stands. Um, the dies that are that I've been telling you, talking about, this is the dies you get with trimming the tree, okay? You get a ton. And obviously there's some that coordinate well, obviously with the stamp set for the tree um, the bow right here for this bow, um, these things, the trim or the whatever for them, and then the, the stands for the tree. This little one goes for this one. What I used was, I used this, a bigger, um, yeah, I used that one. Of course, you can't see it because it embosses it, but you, because since it's glitter paper, you couldn't see, really see that in there. Um, this right here, this is how I did this in the stand, the May Your Season Be Merry and Bright is from the stamp set. So there, there's tons of dies in there. Um, so I used just about, and tons of, there's tons of stars. I've used the stars in many different ways. So, and then that's pearlescent, um, paper on the background of this too. So, like I said, only available until September 30th, or if it sells out before that, it's gone. Um, but I've, I've, and the, this, the Trimmy the Tree is not in the mini catalog, it's in the main catalog. Okay, so I think, so the colors I used on this obviously are Evening Evergreen, and then Pearlescent and the Glimmer Paper. Um, and that's it, I mean, it's really amazing that I didn't use any white paper. Well, I did on this, because I'll show you how I did that. So, but I think I'm gonna use some different colors for the next one. Um, so I'm gonna decide on that and then we'll get going. Okay, scratch that. I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna do the exact same colors. I, I love green and gold. Okay, so this is Evening Evergreen. This is four and a quarter by 11. So it's a piece of cardstock cut in half long ways. What you wanna to do to make it the gate cold, fold, you want to score it at two and three quarters and then eight and a quarter because it's two and three quarters from this side. So one, two, one, two, three. So eight and a quarter, two and three quarters and eight and a quarter. Okay. So there you go. All right, so I'm just gonna use this and I'm gonna make sure it lays nice and flat. Okay, so 
what we're using on this, and I love the, the mask, the decorative masks. I buy them every time, and I a lot of times I end up not even using them. So it was a goal of mine. I set it down, and I was like, okay, I need to use these. And so, and I've got some other cards that I've used too. So here's one of them. I've used that on a card that I'm working on right now. This one, this is the one I used on this. And then some plaid and then some shapes. Okay, so it's really, it's, um, you can do a lot of stuff with it. You can, obviously with this, we're using ink and embossing powder. Um, the embossing paste, which that's what I'm working on right now, is one like with embossing paste. And so I'm super, I'm pretty excited about it. Okay, so let's see if I zoom back in here. Sorry, because it's such a dark color, but I'm lining this up and I just want it to be the same on the top and the bottom and the sides. Okay. Looks about right. Oh, look at that. <laughs> okay, I gotta get some post-it notes to hold it steady. Okay, so I've got a little post-it note underneath this to kind of keep it steady. Um, and then for the mask, okay, I'll just take some of these flags just to hold it down. Okay, and since we're embossing, I'm going to use the Versamark and just hold it down and ink it up. What's great about this is if you've missed a spot, you'll see when I take it off, I gotta hold it up to you because like I said, it's so dark that it's hard to see. And it didn't get it a really good up there, so I'm gonna, and what you do is you just line this back up. It's pretty easy. Because you can, it's hard to tell in the video, I'm sure, but Oh, I turned it the wrong way. I guess maybe I should have done it on a different color so that you could see this a little better. But because you can see um, where the ink is on here, it's easy to line this back up so it's in the right spot. All right, I think that will do it. Okay, all right, I'm gonna get my embossing powder. I'm gonna go clean this off, and then you'll see, it's, it just makes it really wow. Okay, here's my gold powder. Um, if you see anything in this video or any of my videos that I use to organize in my room uh, for the paper, for the embossing powder, for anything, um, you can go to my website and click on my stamp room. If you're on a computer, it'll be on your right side. If you're on your phone, just scroll all the way to the bottom. And if you click on where it says stamp room or stamp space, I can't remember which what, what it says, um, you can see all the pictures of my current room with links to everything that I use that I that is available to buy still. I have some stuff in here that's old. <laughs> but um, And then also you'll see pictures of my old room. Uh, well, several of my old rooms. Okay. And also on my website, on the top and under menu and on the side or the bottom, you can subscribe. So that way, if you see, if you want to see when I post something, um, you when you do that, then you'll get it through your email. And obviously with YouTube, too.
Okay, looks pretty good. All right, oh gosh, I, I mean, I swear, every time I make a video with you guys, I, <laughs> I make a mess of something. All right, let me clean this up, then we'll start heating it up. Okay, this is gonna take a little while because there is a lot of embossing powder on here, tons. I still, I know I've said this in other videos, but with embossing powder, when it starts to change, it's still, every time I'm like, that is just so cool. And honestly, obviously with this much heat on this paper, it's going to warp it a little bit. So I just, when I'm done, I just sort of, I lay it down and put something heavy on top of it just to kind of flatten it out, try to get it to flatten out. And eventually it, it does. All right. There we go. Pretty cool. I mean... Pretty easy, a little messy, but really cool. All right, so, and then I'm gonna, now I'm gonna show you how to do the Velcro. And I'll, and like I said, I'll have a link to that on my website so you can see um, where I got it. And I'm sure you can find it other places too. Okay, so what I used, big surprise, are the stitched rectangles. I used this one right here. And the first one I, I cut is, I, know, I hope you can see it, it's the pearlescent paper. I mean, it's so, it's so pretty. Um, but since I'm using that as something, as a way to open the card, you don't want it to be too thin. I mean, this is you know, obviously not super thick paper. So what I did was I die cut one in the pearlescent and then I did die cut two more with the heavy white. And then I just glue those together. It just makes it a little more sturdy to, um, use the velcro and here is the velcro okay so this one these are little ovals they're one and three quarters of an inch but the big thing about these is that they are called low profile um, that means they're thin you know velcro can be really thick but these are thin i'll show them to you oh shoot them together and now they're all coming loose so anyway so, so you can see they're they're not that thick which that makes it perfect obviously for making cards and obviously there'd be other reasons ways that you would want them to be thinner um, I stuck these together and obviously you're not supposed to do that because they they both have adhesive on the back of them okay so I'll figure that out. I'll fix that later. But all right, so we're gonna glue these three together. Just wanna make them so they may just come nice and thick so they won't fall apart when you open the card or get bent, you know. I only used one piece of uh, heavy white on that one, but in hindsight, I was like, ah, I should have made that a little thicker. So you can see it's, it's much thicker. Almost feels like a little bit like cardboard, okay? All right, so I haven't <laughs> tried to get this to stay still, but you know what, when you put this on there, then you don't have to worry about it. Okay, so all right, there, got it. All right, 
so. I'm gonna put it on the side like that. And then my dimensionals. those on the other side okay so there's the dimensionals and the velcro it's a little scary because Want to make sure it's on there, you know, straight and level and one thing that's nice about embossing when it's shiny like that, it you can take it off without tearing the paper. <laughs> So there you go, super easy. I still may move that a little bit. I'm not gonna show you how to do the rest, it's pretty easy. Um, the sentiment, like I told you, it's from the trimming the tree and the die cut for that is from the dies that go with it, or for now, for one month, <laughs> the dies that go with it. Um, and I embossed it, <clears throat> obviously, in gold powder, again, on evergreen, evening evergreen. And then on the inside, I just used the dies it's one thing that's really cool about dies like this, you can stamp it, which I did on my beachy one, um, and then die cut it. But this, all I did was I just die cut the glitter paper. So not a whole lot of stamping on this card, just this right here. That's it. So you can see it's all like wonky and stuff. So I'll, it'll, it'll eventually start, it'll eventually flatten. But I just wanted to show how you, one way to do an opening like that. I think it's really cool. And then, you know, when, like, I'll use this one, when you have it displayed or something, it's gonna, it'll look cool, you know, from the outside and the inside. So just, just assume uh, an easy card like that. And um, I wanted to use the trimming the tree again, just to show you different ways that you can use it. I've used it with the Yetis, I've used it with uh, be a beach scene, and now this one, which this one is obviously very um, fancy, so it's a little different. If you got any questions, let me know, and I hope everybody's having a great day.